friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany and I am so glad that you are joining me for today's video. In today's video, we are going to be doing quite a bit of a room transformation. We are tackling my little boy's room. This is a room that my two youngest share. It is a giant room. It had a big open wall that I had big plans for. So I'm super excited you're here. Let's go ahead and get started. So when we first moved into this house, I didn't know what to do with all of the things that came from our house in Las Vegas. There we had a toy room. So we had a playroom at the top of our stairs. You can check out a video. I do have a house tour of our old house. That house was a fraction of the size of this house. It was about half the size of this house. So we definitely have a lot more space, which means a lot more you know, furniture and places to store things. So as you can see right now, it's kind of a hot mess. So what I'm doing is I'm just moving everything to the other side of the room so that we can work on this big wall. When we moved into the house, I had big plans, like I said, for this wall here. I had a vision of doing a really fun decorative accent wall and we just didn't have the time to get it done. So I'm super excited that we're finally tackling it. Danny was so helpful. Oh my gosh, Lion on his cat condo. So the reason that lives in the boys' room is because my son Griffin is a huge animal lover. So he loves to have the animals in his room as often as possible. He's actually the one that named Lion. That's how he got his name. But we're getting started on this wall by removing um, the outlets and everything. Um, Danny just put a bug out the window there. <laughs> we have all these ladybugs in my house, which as you can see right there, they're all coming out now that spring has sprung. So Danny is just putting it outside and taped there to the window is the vision we have for this accent wall. So I'm getting started by putting down some clear plastic to protect the carpet. And I just purchased all of these things um, at Home Depot. So I didn't want to get any blue on the carpet because that would, I'd have really struggled to get that off of the carpet. So I'm going to put down this plastic first and then I'm going to secure it to the baseboard with just some blue painters tape. And the color on the wall, let's talk about that for a second. So the color is Sherwin-Williams French Gray. It is a beautiful, very gray gray. It's got a little bit of a blue tint to it. It's definitely on the cooler side. And it is really pretty. I do wish I had gone maybe 50%. I feel like it is a little bit dark, but this room is really big. And so I feel like I can kind of get away with it. Um, and I did want to warm it up a little bit. So I do end up bringing in a little bit warmer of a curtain because I just felt like it was a little bit too cool. So that is what we're going to be doing today. And we wanted to do some kind of fun wooden accent. So that's what we're going to do. But I wanted to get the wall painted first. So we are going with this beautiful color. It is another Sherwin Williams color. It's called denim. And it's just a really pretty blue a very very true blue it's so pretty and it really does look like the color denim so I'm just gonna use um, an angled brush to cut in around all of the outlets and down along the baseboards and in the corners I am NOT one to take the time to tape I just refuse to do it so for a number of reasons number one I feel like it never creates a good enough seal unless you're going to caulk it um, there are ways to you know use the painters tape and caulk it and get a really good seal but I just wasn't going to take the time to do that I feel like it takes half the time if I just use a really good angled brush take my time and just cut in this way so um, I really feel like every other time I try to use tape when you peel it off it just doesn't I don't know it just doesn't create a good enough seal I do think that I'd probably have a better chance of having a good seal on these walls than the walls we had in Vegas those were textured where these are flat but I still just didn't want to take the time to do it so if this is not your style if you feel like taping is a better option by all means go for it um, otherwise just get yourself a really good angled brush I think this brush was under ten dollars from Home Depot and um, I only reuse them a couple of times because the more you wash them the 
the more frayed they get. You want them to be really stiff so that you get that good clean line. And then just take your time, honestly. It, it is all worth it and it pays off, you know, not having to take all that time taping and, um, you know, having an extra expense of the tape. Once all the cutting in of the edges was done, it was time to get to rolling. So you will want to pick a roller that works for the texture you have on your walls. Because my walls are flat, um, I went with a fluffier a roller and you can just kind of read the description on the rollers to figure out which one works for you I wanted a really nice smooth finish we went with a satin finish for the wall um, just because I didn't really want a lot of shine um, but I still wanted it to be you know easy to wipe off so nice satin finish here on the wall or was it eggshell I think it was satin I can't know maybe it was eggshell actually I think we went with eggshell because that's what was um, on the gray so we went with eggshell sorry about the camera it does come in and out of focus because the lighting from the windows but I just loved this blue it was absolutely beautiful I actually found it from Pinterest I was looking up blue accent walls and I wanted something that just looked really true and it matched the blue from the boys bedding and I love it and I don't really have any special tips for you when it comes to painting the wall just to go kind of slowly don't feel like you have to rush because it does kind of give you a little bit of splatter I do like to have a pretty decent amount of paint on my rollers so I try to go a little bit slowly so I don't have paint splatter everywhere
So while I was upstairs doing the painting yet again, Danny was downstairs working on the wood pieces for the accent wall. So he had cut them all to size and then he was just sanding them down so that they would be easy to paint. And we just kind of went off of a basic design, um, nothing super duper fancy. You'll see here in just a little bit. Um, and while I was waiting for that first coat to dry, I decided to do this fun little project for the boys and make them a fun little Lego wall piece that they could use. So we bought these flat Lego pieces from Walmart along with this poster um, frame. And there's Tallulah coming in today. She's like, you're on the floor, mom, let's hang. Um, I'm using a, a plaster knife um, to open up the poster. <laughs> It was just, um, they were kind of hard to get open. And then the other thing I'm going to do here is I'm taking out the clear plastic, which was glued in. It came off pretty easily for the most part until I got to this end piece. It was like really glued in there. So you want to take this part out. Be careful because you can cut yourself even though it's plastic. But once that's out, I'm now going to use the um, flat Lego boards to, I'm putting them face down inside of the frame. Now they just barely fit they had to kind of um, overlap over each other a little bit I was hoping that they wouldn't have to do that but it does help to keep them in place they just kind of overlap and I'm sure there's a nice fancier way to do this but this was the affordable and easy way and my boys love it they use it all the time So I used the blue painter's tape to just kind of hold the pieces in place and um, I'm kind of moving them around just to make sure that they you know, are sitting as well as they possibly can. And then I put in the back piece here and close up all the little clasps. And just like that, they have this cool little Lego board that they can play with on the floor. And our original intention was to hang it on the wall, but they liked having the option of either putting it up or having it down on the ground so we didn't end up mounting it to the wall and while I was doing that Danny was down here working on painting the wooden accent pieces that are going to go on the wall so we wanted to paint them beforehand just so that they would be easier and we could just do touch up once they got on the wall you don't have to do this you can put them up first and then paint them it's up to you. We've done it both ways. When we did the board and batten in the bathroom upstairs, we painted those beforehand and then put them up. And then when we did the board and batten in our entryway, we painted them once they got on the wall. So it really is just all your preference. Um, but this time around, we just painted them ahead of time so we could give them a good coat. And then we would just have to do some touch up afterward. So moving back upstairs, Danny went ahead and started putting up these curtain rods while I was doing a second coat on the wall. We purchased these at Walmart. They were very affordable. I think they were somewhere around $8. And they're just a nice plain black, you know, curtain rod, nothing fancy. 
and while he was doing that I was just putting on that second coat now if you're really great and make sure that you you know do a really wonderful job painting the first time you may not have to do a second coat uh, I have done that before where I haven't had to do a second coat but this paint is so dark that I feel like if you didn't do the second coat you could kind of see where you know it wasn't super even so a second coat was definitely needed and Danny went ahead and put up those curtain rods now fun fact about this room originally in the the floor plans where the boys bed is was supposed to be open to the downstairs well open to the stairs um, it was just a big vaulted ceiling and they ended up closing it off which is kind of cool because it gave us extra square footage in this room and it was a cool little notch for them to put the their bunk bed in there so um, it wasn't supposed to be like that that's why the windows are a little bit funky if I could go back in time I would just do these two windows and not have the window by where the bed is but it's fine it is the way it is it was an afterthought so uh, these are the curtains that I purchased I also got these at Walmart and they were I think maybe $17 um, which you know is I think a really good price for a nice curtain it was you know one panel per thing but I just felt like it was a good price so now we're moving into the accent wall here now we're using one by one boards and like I said we came up with a basic idea and plan for what we wanted to do we just looked at a bunch of different ones on Pinterest and then Danny kind of drew it up and then we decided to put them you know up on the wall kind of willy-nilly like we went sort of with this plan and then we just kind of put them wherever they fit and then he would go and cut them as needed um, so we're using one by two boards they're you know super affordable and um, you know you don't have to get anything fancy they're just going up on the wall we're just gonna paint them no big deal so he'd put them up we'd figure out you know where they needed to be cut he'd mark it and then he'd go downstairs and cut it with his table saw and then he'd bring it back up and we would um, nail it to the wall now if you really want this to be super duper sturdy you can use some um, wood glue or um, liquid nails when you apply it to the wall but I didn't want to do that because I wasn't sure if I was going to want to move them so I didn't want anything too super permanent we didn't put any kind of nail glue or you know wood filler or wood glue or anything like that um, just because you know these aren't going to be something that the kids are climbing on um, it, I just didn't feel like it needed it so the other thing we didn't do this time around was um, some caulk we did not caulk these I didn't think it was necessary uh, they blended in just fine and it was just a fun accent wall I didn't think it it, it required it so you're just gonna see us kind of working our way through it we did leave open space in the middle for the kids TV and I love how this all comes out in the end
So this last piece that we put up here wasn't painted because it was kind of a last minute addition. We weren't sure where we were gonna put it. And so that's why I'm painting it once it's on the wall. Danny did start to caulk over there and then we were like, yeah, we're not doing this. <laughs> So he wiped it off and um, it was fine. It, I, I didn't feel like it needed it. I just went in and painted, cut in really close, made sure that there wasn't any wood showing. And I think it was perfectly fine. So I just paint this piece here and then I am gonna go in and fill in all the little nail holes with wood filler. And then I go back and paint over those in just a little bit. If you um, are using wood filler, here's a fun little tip so that you're not having to go back in and sand a lot. Um, when you put it into the hole, you put the little wood filler in there, which is what I'm using here, the paint and patch, and then you just kind of wipe it off with your finger as you go. Make sure you get it really, really good, rub it in really good, and you won't have to do any sanding afterward. Maybe very minimal. I didn't need to in this situation. So the nails were really, really tiny. Just use finishing nails so that you don't see them a lot, and it makes it the job really easy and quick. Finally, once all the painting is done, I'm just going back in and putting the outlet covers back on and Danny is gonna work on putting up that last curtain. We wanted to wait until the paint was dry so we didn't run any risk of getting paint on the curtain and uh, just finished up this wall. I was so happy with the way it turned out. It was so pretty and I just think it's fun to see like our vision come to life, especially because we weren't sure exactly how we wanted to do it. We did kind of wing it <laughs> quite a bit. So then we were just picking up the plastic. I did throw this away. I didn't keep it. I was too afraid it was going to get stuff on it. But here is what the wall looks like at the end. I love how this turned out. It looks so clean and nice over there. And then you turn around. <laughs> rest of the room was a hot mess but we're gonna tackle this part tomorrow I had to leave it alone for the rest of the night it, it was getting super dark that's why this is kind of fuzzy um, and I needed to go get dinner cooked so this is the next day the TV is hung it looks so good Danny also hung up this um, shelf for me we used to have that um, in our entryway back in Las Vegas and now I'm just gonna work on getting the room organized and put back together. So first things first is putting back this cube organizer under the TV. This actually used to belong to my in-laws. They purchased it while we were staying there while the house was being built. And that's where we all had our shoes and everything. So they offered it to me when we moved and I gladly took it for some um, toy storage. So inside of those, there's you know lots of toys for the kids. And then I was just putting their bigger pieces on top of it. And deciding where I was going to move that Lego wall piece um, and deciding whether or not we were gonna hang it. So, and like I said, the boys love having that cat condo in here. So we weren't gonna take that out that was very important to them that I didn't remove that so I just wanted to make sure I gave everything a really good wipe down a good vacuum and then I just got to trying to organize and getting things to look nice and yet you know be as functional as possible I wanted to leave them plenty of space to play um, I did also want to create like this nice little reading nook they like to lay on the carpet over there and um, read so my youngest is still learning to read but everybody else loves to read so that's a lot of fun I love how it all turned out it's just so cute Thank you. 
Next up is this area over here by the shelf. So they did have a huge stack of um, stuffed animals next to their dresser, which that dresser is from Ikea. We purchased that several years ago. It's actually a gift, I think, from my in-laws um, for birthday or Christmas. I can't remember for the boys. But anyway, there were a ton of stuffed animals down there. I'm going to show you here in a second what we do with those. But I did have Danny mount this fun little shelf for me. I had intentions of like hanging hats and stuff on it. I thought that would be cute, but I ended up doing something else. <laughs> and I know it's super hard to see, but that's because the sun was so bright that my camera just was struggling to focus on the wall and not the light outside so I'm sorry I still wanted you to see a little bit of the process but I'm going to show you what it looks like in the end I'm just hanging some things that they had on the wall and then they've got pictures of their Pinewood Derby cars some trophies some harmonicas that they were gifted from their grandfather that kind of thing and just a nice little place to have some decor I also had the idea of hanging up that little Captain America shield. It was having a hard time staying up there, so I did end up using some command strips to get it on there, and that did end up helping to keep it stuck, but I just thought it was so cute up there. And then we do have the humidifier and some other cute, um, you know, cute decorative items, and that little tiny lamp is from Target. Next up was tackling their stuffed animal collection. Now they are obsessed with their stuffed animals and I did not want to get rid of any. After seeing Toy Story, I feel like I can't get rid of any toys. So I bought this toy hammock off of Amazon. I went back and forth about how I was going to store these for them. Uh, and you know, I got a lot of suggestions about doing one of those cool stuffed animal um, bean bags however they play with these every single day so i didn't want to have them put away in a bean bag where they were going to have to open it up and get in there every single time so i felt like this hammock was you know a, a good answer get them up off the floor because they have their bunk bed they can get up into the hammock easily and it has turned out to be really really helpful for them they love having it up there it looks cute they can see what they have and um, you know worked out really well this bed that they have it's not technically a bunk bed it's actually um, like a loft bed from Ikea however uh, we turned it upside down and uh, you put the mattress on the bottom on the floor and it creates this cool little bunk bed so I love it it's nice and low to the ground so when they're jumping off of it I'm not worried anybody's breaking a leg and they jump off of it every day it sounds like they're gonna come through the ceiling it's ridiculous but they love it and I think it looks really cute Their bedding is from Target. It's actually pretty old. I think we've had it for um, several years now, but um, I have a hard time making that top bunk bed because I'm pretty short. <laughs> so I struggle to get, you know, 
to the back and get the everything tucked in but I did want to get their beds made I am going back and forth with the idea of getting some beddies um, have you guys seen those they just kind of zip I think that'd be nice and easy for them but we'll see and then my little son Ryan who sleeps on the bottom bunk his mat um, not his mattress but his uh, pillowcase my mom actually made him for Christmas they all got one and he just can't part with it he will not let me put any other one on there so he sleeps with the Christmas pillowcase every single day <laughs> And then the last item that I'm going to do uh, over here at the bed for a little extra piece of decor is this fun little bunting that I purchased at Hobby Lobby. It actually hung uh, from the ceiling at our house in Las Vegas, but um, I didn't really have any place that I wanted to put it and I just thought here on the bed was super duper cute. Okay, my friends, that is it for this fun room transformation. I am in love with how this room turned out. I feel like it's cozy and yet perfect for little boys. There's plenty of space in here to play. I was able to move a lot of toys into their walk-in closet and give them plenty of space in there to lounge and watch movies and play with the Legos and have their stuffed animal wars, whatever it is that they're doing up there. So if you enjoyed this video, I would love for you to give it a thumbs up. I'd love to have you subscribe and come back for more. Tell me your thoughts down below on this fun wall that we did here. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. I hope you have a great rest of your week and I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.